We've pulled five boxes here in the first string, and through the five, the team of Ethier and Wall, our challengers, have a six-pin advantage over Pigeon and Dugan. Plenty of pins and balls and bowling to go, so please come back. Debbie Pigeon and Mary Wall will step up and see what their arms have to offer us here this afternoon. That is Debbie Pigeon. Hers offers a seven on the first ball. Mary matches it. Debbie's high single is a 174. Her average is 109. If it was her terrific finish a week ago that has allowed this team to move on to this week. Mary's high single is 159. Her average is 107. And through a strange coincidence, Mary is the next door neighbor of Kim Blood, the lady who was beaten last week by the Pigeon Dugan team. Seventh box, first string. Debbie has a chance to mark for her team for the first time this afternoon. She has a clean shot. Gets it. Courtesy of the wood, but nonetheless, she gets it. And Mary Wall was unable to match the mark. She has two pins remaining. She takes out one of the two, posting a nine here in the seventh. The difference was six pins. Debbie Pigeon is working on a bonus ball right here. So keep the number six in mind, which isn't near what she filled. Her fill was a disappointing two. with what she's looking at here in the eighth box. A lot of scattered stuff all over the place. That's the shot that Debbie has. shot that Mary has. A seven in the eighth box, an eight in the eighth box for the Pigeon Duga team, a seven for the Ethier Wall team, and a two-pin difference. The challengers, Ethier and Wall, leading it by two pins over the champions. We're rolling here in the ninth box on the first string. Stewart is going to check and do some tidy work in front. It's over the Deadwood line, so Ralph will move 60 feet or so or in his paycheck. Mary strikes the 10 squarely. Debbie gets a 10. We are dead even through nine boxes here in the first string. Neither team has pulled away. The four horsemen right will stay for Debbie. She closes with such a flurry. Next ball by Mary. Match her mark for Mark. She was unable to. 
she misses the nine, puts the nine up here in the tenth frame. Her team has scored a 96. Bonus ball goes in strong, goes in disappointing for Debbie. Each bonus ball for her hasn't been overly pleasing, but nonetheless, her team has a four pin advantage as we move to the second string. And even 100 for Pigeon and Dugan. A 96 for Ethier and Wall. The match continues. And we hope you'll be back right after this. Okay, we move to the second string. Jan Ethier and Sue Dugan. Do the honors to get us going. Jan starts it off with a mark. And Sue does not match it. Remember, the difference is four pins. Here's our first bonus ball to the second string. Sue Dugan with a 10. And the challengers have taken a one pin lead. Ethier has marked two boxes in a row. Sue's ball gutters off to the left side. And she does not collect the seven. And it's a nine for Sue Dugan in the box. Bonus ball for Jan will take out. <laughs> it's teetering. Question is, will it totter? She fills it with a five. Remember, if she can mark here for a third straight time, it's bonus time. It's bonus time! It's also... I'll tell you, Sue can't buy a mark. She just can't buy it. It is bonus time. Ten in the third box for Sue Dugan. And here's the bonus ball. Fill it with a seven. So right here, boxes one, two, three of the second string. You have seen Ethier and Wall come from a four-pin deficit to a 16-pin advantage. Well, that's a hollow. Did you just hit it? Sounds like me, like I'm shooting a basketball. Fud. <laughs> Brick. <laughs> what she wanted to do in the previous ball, but it didn't do it. Nice nine, nonetheless. Her string of consecutive marks is over. Ended at three. Her bowling hasn't ended. The ball has exceeded the line, and Ralph Stewart has to come down and dress the alley, which he has done so capably. It moved it from a four-pin deficit after the first string to a 16-pin advantage. Here, just through the first four boxes of the second string. Turn this match by 20 pins. <laughs> One of those in our gallery just yelled out, they're scared. They want to fall down already. That's a great line. That's right. No, they're scared. I like that. Seven more as they begin to inch ahead. This is the final box for each lady. Jan Ethier going out with a nine, but a terrific 
one two three box there in the second string for her has given her team a distinct advantage an advantage now that she will hand over to her teammate Mary Wall and Debbie Pigeon will step up and try to make up an 18 pin deficit in her five boxes of bowling four time championship team of Pigeon and Dugan on the ropes for the second straight week. Mary brings it strong right to left. Just takes out a couple. Just wait. Just wait. It ain't over. <laughs> it may have been. Mary Wall coming back. Debbie Pigeon does not get her mark in the sixth box. Misrolled it. Just misrolled it. And it's bonus ball time for Mary Wall. There it is. She'll fill with a five and a 24 pin advantage now. Another spare leave for Debbie Pigeon and an opportunity for them, at least, to have bonus ball. Second consecutive mark for Mary Wall. A third consecutive will earn her bonus money. Each lady has marked here in the seventh box. First bonus ball. Mary will fill her mark with a six. Debbie with a seven, maybe an eight. No, it'll be a seven. Twenty-three pins separating the two teams. The challenging team of Ethier and Wall having the 23-pin advantage. Three boxes to be scored. No bonus for Mary Wall. No second consecutive for Debbie. An eight in the eighth box for Mary Wall. A ten in the eighth box. For Debbie Pigeon, two boxes of bowling left. 21 pins separating the two. Mary will look at the spread eagle. Debbie has a shot at a spare. Mary takes out the 10. She has five pins remaining. Clutch ball. However faintly they may remain alive, Debbie's kept them alive. There's a seven for Mary Wall in the ninth frame. An 18 pin advantage. Remember it was up to 23. It has been reduced to 18. Mary brought it right, it stayed right, took out the 10. The door may be opening. Of course, it's a it's an opening that's difficult to get through. Debbie needs a mark for any hope. Oh. Tough leaf. Tough. There's no wood. Tough. Right now, this is the ball of the match. It's a good effort. Her only ride was to kick it off the outside, bring it back, try to take out the seven. It didn't do it. Mary, a disappointing sixth in the tenth frame, but it didn't matter. Just right, she wasn't disappointed. She wasn't disappointed because the end is the bottom line. And the bottom line is the team of Ethier and Wall has unseated, dethroned, beaten, choose your word, Pigeon and Dugan. A 208 for Pigeon and Dugan, a 215 for Ethier and Wall. 
We'll chat about passing the mantle in just a minute. Welcome back to Candlepin Doubles. I, I suppose all good things must come to an end, huh? I guess so. But you don't want them to come to an end, I do know. you? We had a good time. Well, we enjoyed watching you, Sue. Thank you so much for Thank entertaining you. us. You know, I, I almost thought for a minute that Debbie was going to do it again. Late in the second one, you know, you had the you had the tan, and then you left yourself with an impossible shot. I in the know. Last I, part. That leave, I said, oh no. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. We did good. You, you, you did very well. <laughs> You'll have three hundred dollars for this effort to spare, but a lot of. Our thanks and a lot of fun memories for some great bowling. Thank you. I, I, I know it's a team effort, and yes, this team won, but Jan's the, the bowler that put them over the hump, and Jan's a letter carrier in Haverhill, so I suppose you brought the mail here yeah. <laughs> in the second string, right? <laughs> yeah, I have to thank Pat Dignan, my T6, because he took the day off, switched days with me, oh, so I could oh. bowl today. Pat's the one to blame, ladies. Pat's <laughs> the one to blame. If he had said no, you wouldn't have had the problem. Mary, you know, this was, what is it, a good streak? Good luck, good run for you today? Luck. Luck? No, you we, bowled well. What we do you mean luck? But that's good spark, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's you, we have our lucky pennies in our pocket. Well, let me see. Them, let me yeah. see them. We found them. They're we found them the day before. Can't read the date on them. Look at it. Put it in, put it in my yeah. hand. Those pennies are lucky. This is, this is, they're, they're, they're awfully corroded, but you remember the old saying, find a penny, pick it up for the rest of the day, you'll have good luck? <laughs> well, these ladies have had plenty of good luck today. Thank you. Thank you. Great match today. They will be back. We will be back on Candlepin Doubles for now. For our champions, I'm Ed Harding. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye, everybody.